Day. From the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. This is the National Football League. Saints taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Superdome in New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New Orleans Saints. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz, has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. No run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Play action, it's Mahomes. Steps away. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. He's got a man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20 yard line. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. They run the jet sweep now for Tony. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Looking middle complete and they're going to mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that that'll go for a gain of seven and it'll be fourth down well we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the nfl game but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers especially in a play like this one third down they gave him the underneath stuff you gotta go up and make the tackle right away So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. Chiefs 
I think we can safely say they came out to be aggressive on the opening series, Charles. They didn't run the ball once. All that passing, it does get them the three to nothing lead. I think what we saw there, partner, was a true definition of football balance, which means doing what you want to when you want to on offense. And in this case, it was throwing the football. They may mix in running the football a little bit more as this game goes on. But this opening drive, while it stalled out, it still gave them three points. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. And it certainly had taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap. And the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara, and not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Carr. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Michael Dana. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Shotgun now for Carr. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. So from the 17 now, here's a first and ten. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They'll try and run with McKinnon. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone.
Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit. And He's got a man complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes for 36 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played into the red zone, it's Carr. Over the middle to Smith. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they wanna get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. On second down, Kamara. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Carr looking to throw on third and two. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Saints have cut it back within a score. 
Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Will Lutz on for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 7 now. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was Chris Alave who finished things off with a touchdown. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They go play fake. Mahomes. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Well, certainly not his best throw that time. And not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field? Guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Kamara. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense. Good tackling. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. All 
level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Nothing here. And now here comes Kansas City. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And let me tell you, that wasn't as easy as it looked. Dancing away and moving forward for six yards. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 30 on second down, Mahomes flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. First down, a running play ends up going backwards as he won't get close to the line of scrimmage. In fact, he's going to lose four yards. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offense is trying to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 21. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. Mahomes now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's James. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now it's Mahomes again. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. 
right up to that point. I was about to say he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On first down, Carr uses the stiff arm. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw again on second down, Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Johnson's got it complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now, Carr again. Over the middle, complete. Brad Smith. And he's going to get this down near the 25. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. now on first down complete to Alave on the out route 
And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Three yards remain for second down. Again, it's Carr. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. From the gun now on third down, Carr. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal to throw his car back to Kamara for another catch oh he's brought down and remember here no timeouts left they got to get to the line quick nifty running there but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one so we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman he has our EA Sports halftime report all right BG thanks very much and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report this one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half and to bring the action your way let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Carr. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Throwing now is Carr. His throw incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. the bootleg. They'll get this out to Kamara. 
And he is going to have a Saints first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first and ten, here's Carr. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Downfield, and he's got Olave. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Carr. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Johnson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the seven, it's second and five. Kamara up the middle. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle, and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. The quick slant caught. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Here we go with Kamara. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top.
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. He finds McKinnon complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, that's complete to Tony. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. To and all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Meanwhile, Carr's throw caught by Alave. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Carr, and his throw is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The 
offense on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Here's Carr to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Carr. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Try to get that one to Chris Olave, but it'll be second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. to the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Back to throw again. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand the field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 38. Here's Kamara off the draw. Chris Jones on the stop. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Throwing on second down. Carr. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Carr. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Gotta have this one. Again, it's Johnson. And they're gonna get this down inside the 20. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. Stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. A 10th carry for Kamara. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Brought down by Willie Gay. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. 
It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Car going to throw. And that's knocked away and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Stop. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. start this drive out on the ground and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there and now we're going to get a timeout defensively so another stop 150 left in the football game another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's the Chiefs punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So Derek Carr in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 36 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. It's complete, Kamara. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's gonna run off the clock. Car to throw. And the Chiefs are gonna get him. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. 
Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing his car. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. Here's Carr. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. From the gun, it's Carr. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. One final try now for Carr. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.